Together we have heard endless stories about people over our 26 member organisations being exploited at work, struggling to find work, or facing poor quality training that doesn't lead to any work. I got through 80% of the course, then they stopped contacting me and suddenly shut down and disappeared. Basically, that means I wasted more than a year full-time study, I lost my job, and I'm left with over $19,000 debt. Please help me fix this and stop it from happening again. These stories about not getting my pay slips, working 12 hours, and only getting paid for three. The worst part was when I worked in a hotel and my boss stole $10,000 from me and my five colleagues because he didn't pay us. My wife's relative, Vaka, was a seasonal farm worker in Childers. He was in hospital here in Brisbane. I was in total shock when I was told that he had been sick for eight days before anyone took him to the doctor. He was in an induced coma, and the doctors advised us that they couldn't bring him out of it. Vaca came on a government-approved placement, and 10 seasonal workers have died in the past five years. We have to stop the mistreatment and exploitation of vulnerable seasonal workers. Many of the stories we have heard are about situations where rights do exist. Rights exist, regulations exist, but the outcomes for Sergio, Kenny, and many others still have not improved. Our proposal is for the state government to increase the numbers of inspectors actively documenting any exploitation so that that can be reported to the Fair Work Ombudsman. We are asking the Queensland government to partner with our alliance to ensure training remains an important pathway for sustainable employment. You've heard these powerful stories tonight. Will your government ensure continued funding for quality training that provides real skills and leads to good jobs? Will you work with us to implement solutions to expose and investigate exploitation of the most vulnerable and disadvantaged workers in Queensland? On education and training, I must declare a bias. My father was a teacher and I have two sisters who are teachers. Teaching is the only profession that creates all professions and we must never stop learning. My government is committed to an affordable and accessible high quality training sector and that means strengthening TAFE. Just to summarise, Premier, what I heard was that's a yes to recognition, yes. a yes to our care asks, a yes to employment and a yes to meeting with us. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. We wrote to the opposition leader, Mr Nichols, and invited him uh, to come tonight. In July, he said he had a prior commitment in northern Queensland. We provided him with the same asks that we just put to the Premier. He has not provided a video or a representative tonight. We are still negotiating for a commitment for a meeting with the opposition leader. Through listening to the stories of our community, we have earned the right to demand all sides of politics recognise us. Are we committed to this alliance being non-partisan? Yes! Are we committed to people power? Our power as an organised civil society comes from our ability to take action and the promises we make to each other. So now I call on you to commit to action. If you are going to sign up to be a part of the campaign for better employment and training in Queensland, wave your card in the air.